Hello YouTube. Today we're going to talk about the Camlin Exam Pencil Smooth and Dark Pencil Set of 10 with Free Eraser and Sharpener. So let's get to it. Okay, let's check these things out. Well, it's a colorful box. It says new fun filled Camlet exam pencil, smooth and dark pencils, a set of 10. And it comes free with an eraser and sharpener. There's the side of the box. Okay, the back and the front are pretty much the same. And there's the other side. All right, so let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got inside. First things out of the box are the exam sharpener. We'll give that a try in a moment. Looks like a standard sharpener. And we have the exam all clear eraser and we will give this a shot shortly as well and now for the pencils okay it comes in apparently two different paint jobs bluish and a greenish let's take care of the take a look at the greenish one first we can see that it has a pretty nice dark green stripe on every other plane and then a very light avocado-ish color stripe in between each one and we can see the lettering here it's a red foil type lettering it has the reflective red foil imprint and it says Camlin exam Kokuyo Camlin LTD, which means limited. And on the tip, we can see that it has a black dip tip. Now this one here has a little bit of the green showing through there. And I don't believe that's intentional. Let me take a look here. And it's not. So that one there is a defect. And I would have to have picked up the defect, of course. Then the blue one, you have the dark blue with a more baby blue in between. And again, it's using the red foil for the lettering and the same wording, Camlin Exam Kokuyo Camlin Limited. Also has the black dip. There's no eraser. And as you can see, all these pencils are not pre-sharpened. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just take one, and since blue is my favorite color, I'm going to go ahead and just get these back in the box, and then we're going to go straight into sharpening next. All right, welcome back. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and sharpen this puppy here with the Mitsubishi. And it looks like I'm using the KH20 Mitsubishi here. Okay. And you know I'm going to take one of those green ones out. And with the green one, I'm going to use the sharpener that they provided. Because I did promise to do that. And so let me go ahead and zoom in. All right, and let's take a look at that. And then you can kind of compare a long point sharpener with the free one that comes with the Camlin Exam pencils. Okay. Let's see if that's all the way. Looks like that's it. That's as far as it's going to, whoops, broke the tip. 
broke the tip. My bad. All right, there we go. Now, this point here that you see here, that's done with the Camlin sharpener. Okay. And here is the pencil sharpened with the Mitsubishi Cage 20. Clearly, of course, that's a long point sharpener, which I happen to like, but not everybody likes that. And so this here is a regular sharpener. I guess you can call that just a standard point. All right. Now, let's go ahead and test this out on some paper here. And first up, I'm going to bring out drawing paper just to see how it looks on the drawing end of things, even though it's an exam pencil. That's what it says it is. But an exam pencil is supposed to be smooth and dark, and that is what it says right on the box. All right. And I'm going to use this blue one. I'm sure the green and the blues are all the same. So let's give this a shot here and see how it lays down. All right. It is smooth. A moment, we'll see how dark it really is. All right, let me zoom in here. Okay, this is just laying down some graphite holding the pencil in the back like I normally do when I'm shading. And it shades pretty good. All right, let's see how it smudges. Smudge is good. All right, so it blends really good, of course. Let's try the eraser. That's okay. But I did smudge that in, and I did it with my finger, so not all of it's coming out. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to write with this, which it's more appropriate for writing than it is for, for drawing. All right, we're back. And grab me a little notebook here. Let's see how well this thing writes. We know it seems to draw just fine. So, back to the zooming up a little bit, and here we go. All right, this is the Camlin. Exam. Pencils. Oops, I made a boo-boo. So what do I do? Got to use an eraser. See if it fixes my boo-boo. And it does just fine. So, N-C-I-L-S. Okay, this is smooth and dark. Okay, this is putting pressure down on the page, not for drawing reasons, but for writing reasons. And now let me go and compare it to another pencil. So uh, let's see, why don't we compare it to my, what is that, 16.2? No, I don't want to do that one. How about I do it? Compare it to a Blackwing 602 and see if what the difference is. All right, Blackwing 602. Okay, same kind of pressure routine here. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to do the Camlin again.
and the 602 again. All right, there we go. Now I will bring it up for your inspection. Hey, what do you think? That's a 602, that's a 602. Okay. It's hard to actually see a difference between the two this way for writing. But, you may be able to see the difference on here. So, Let's try this Camlin again. Okay. And the 602. What do you think? Tell me what you think in the dis in the uh, comments below. Be interested in your thoughts. I really can't tell the difference. All right, and just to make sure, why don't we put it up against the Blackwing Pearl, which is actually darker than the 602. And so we should see a difference, right? Well, let's find out. Yep, that's an instant easy right there. Okay. You can easily tell that's darker than that. So the Camlin is actually comparable to a Blackwing 602 as far as its tonal quality. Now, you may be wondering... Did I answer the question as to smoothness? Well, as far as smoothness is concerned, how smooth? Um, it's okay. It's not, it's not not smooth, but is it as smooth as that black wing? No, it's not. Okay. So while this is relatively relatively I'm not sure how to spell that. Relatively smooth. Okay. It's not black wing smooth. But these are not $2 a piece. The black wings are. So that's something, of course, to consider. But I wanted to give you something to, you know, compare it to. Okay? So there we go. Total value, what do you think? Is it the same? A little lighter? A little darker? Tell me below what you think. But as for smoothness, there's no way for you to tell me so I'm letting you know from my senses that it's smooth, but not as smooth as a black wing. But then again, the black wing is a luxury pencil and high quality. These are, are very inexpensive. Okay, and as far as where you can get these, uh, the folks there at the uh, Kyrgios, let's see here. There you go. I got it out of this case here, and it looks like I'm almost done with the items they sent. So you can check those guys out. They'll be in the description below. If you want to go ahead and pick yourself up a box of these Camlin Exam pencils. They are nice pencils, and I'm going to go ahead and put them in my, both colors actually, in my pencil collection. They seem to be what you tell me below as far as the tone. 
and as far as the smoothness, they're smooth, but they're not black wing smooth. It gives you an idea of the smoothness there. Okay, well, I hope you like this review. If so, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so already, so you don't miss my future videos. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.